Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you a simple way how you can easily use Zendesk. Zendesk is an amazing program for solving tickets and I believe that after watching this video you will know exactly how to use it. So let's start. So when you would come here to Zendesk, you're going to see get started as a dashboard here, then views that you're going to spend most of your time on, reporting and settings where you can edit everything. Now when you would come home, and when you would come here on views, on left side, you're gonna see all views, your unsolved tickets, unassigned, all unsolved tickets, recently updated tickets, recently solved tickets, unsolved tickets in your groups. Now, when I'm gonna click on a view, I can simply see the ticket here, requester, the customer requested, type intensive priority normal, and I'm gonna see the subject here. So I'll click on it, and voila, here we got it. So first, we're going to see example, example that can be like your company or yourself, then the customer, you can add a contact and user English, if someone is going to write from the Facebook, Twitter, you can see it right here and inc like incident. Now ticket has been updated with changes, submit to you, got it, thanks. Requester, the customer, select assignee, you can assign it to the group or yourself, you can take it. Then you're going to see the followers. You can search agents and followers. Who is a follower? That's like the spectator. You won't see him in email. You won't see him anywhere. That's someone who just uh, overview how the process goes. Then you see tags here. Sample support Zendesk. And now you're going to see the sample ticket. Meet a ticket. Okay. Here's the message. You can reply to. Or you can have it as an internal note. Hi there, I completely understand. You can attach a file, you can add a text, you can add emoji, or you can add a link. Then you can go also to right top, let me show you, to the three dots here. And you can create it as a macro, merge into another ticket, mark it as a spam, delete it, or you can print the ticket. What macro means? When you go to bottom left, bottom down, you're going to see Apple macro. You can close and redirect to topics. Uh, you can say that the customer is not responding. And what is macro is this? Let me show you. Macro. Macro is a prepared response or action that agent used to respond to support requests. There are two types. Personal macros created for an individual user and shared macros created by the administrator for everyone. So that's what macro is. That's like, that's can automate your workflow and your job is going to be easier. Then on the right side, you're going to see the, like the information about the customer, English, where it's from, example, like the company. And then uh, you're going to see user notes here. And now you're going to see the integration and the right bottom left on the right bottom, you're going to see submins as open. You can close the tab or next ticket in view or stay on ticket. And you can choose as a pending, as a open or submit as solved. So I'm going to choose submit as pending. Okay. And now I get unsolved tickets and one of them is a pending unsolved ticket. I can simply also add a new ticket. Or you can simply add a new user, organization, or search. So new ticket. I can add the user here. I can select the signee and just solve the ticket. Or you can simply connect it to your Twitter uh, and everything and solve it like that. So we will get to it. Then you get reporting here and then you get the settings. In settings, you're going to see the people here that you can simply invite. User fields. organization fields then you're going to see brands view views here views are what we saw here on the left side like unsolved tickets deleted suspend and you can have more views to so categorize like things then you're going to see macros here you can actually add a new macro if you want to actually have more automatic answers that you can choose like add a macro here macro name description right well before all agents or me only 
and you can add actions to add a comment to the ticket or update ticket field values form default ticket form you can really choose which one you want as an action create and voila here we have a new macro then you're going to see the tags here ticket fields that you can have assigning group priority type status description subject you can add more fields here ticket forms dynamic content email twitter and you can actually connect the channels here like with the chat facebook chat will be on your website right widget epi and then you got business rules like routing here triggers automations that you can add answer bot response to customers are instantly always constant and reliable works with your support team and then you got like settings for your account here and these are like agents here and you can edit a lot of things i don't really know that if these things are really necessary for you or just the ticket is the most important thing that you can edit as an example what is the company right can really choose and name it what you want and on that company you're gonna see all the tickets the customer belongs to the company but you can name it whatever you want and then you're gonna see the incident here what happened and you can see really really edit it as much as you want on the right top also in the tickets you're gonna see applications that you can use so you can like five most recent user data mailchimp activity linked tickets so related tickets and yeah so if you have any questions guys ask me down in the comments i'll be really happy to help you and provided some guidance and support you know how it goes you know how it is so yeah thank you very much and goodbye